Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. French military trains eagles to attack drones. DJI unveils Aeroscope, technology to identify and track airborne drones. And UAS stakeholders to President Trump develop pilot program for state and local policy coordination. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI. The French military is training four Golden Eagles to attack drones in flight as a way to defend against potential spying or attacks from the unmanned aircraft. The idea came up after several drones were flown over the French presidential palace, but they were not the first to consider such a plan. The Dutch National Police recently released a video showing an eagle taking down a DJI drone. That bird was trained by a company that is specializing in teaching birds of prey to attack unmanned aircraft. How do they do it? The eagles were hatched and reared on top of drone wreckage, which experts say made the birds think of the aircraft as prey. They were then trained to attack the drones, and when they were successful, they were given meat which they ate off the back of the aircraft. The French military is working on protective gear to shield the birds, such as Kevlar and leather mittens to protect their talons. A second batch of eggs has been ordered by the French Armed Forces. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The U.S. Navy has awarded a contract valued at $2,578,822 to AeroVironment for continuation and expansion of its Blackwing small UAV program. The contract includes orders for multiple Blackwing vehicles, sensor payloads, and refurbishment kits. The initial set of vehicles are anticipated for delivery by May 2018 and final delivery anticipated by November 2018. The Washington State Patrol is crediting its UAS with helping to ease the backups that are caused by crashes on the road. Since the start of the WSP's pilot program back in July, UAS have been used to fly over 20 crash scenes. According to Washington State Patrol Detective Eric Gunnarsson, one of the UAS, named Iceman, recently flew over a rollover crash that was blocking two lanes of traffic on Interstate 5 in Tacoma, Washington. Michael Baker International has announced that it has expanded its growing UAS fleet with the purchase of an Altavia Nova fixed-wing UAS. The company says that the UAS, which can fly up to 90 minutes and cover 600 to 800 acres in a single flight, will be used to conduct aerial inspections and mapping of large sites or during inclement weather conditions. NVIDIA has unveiled the world's first artificial intelligence computer, codenamed Pegasus, which is designed to drive fully autonomous robo-taxis that can transport passengers to their destinations and provide mobility to everyone. NVIDIA says that the NVIDIA Drive PX Pegasus will, quote, help make possible a new class of vehicles that can operate without a driver, fully autonomous vehicles, without steering wheels, pedals, or mirrors, and interiors that feel like a living room or office. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. DJI has unveiled Aeroscope, a new solution to identify and monitor airborne drones with existing technology that can address safety, security, and privacy concerns. Aeroscope uses the existing communications link between a drone and its remote controller to broadcast identification information, such as a registration or serial number, as well as basic telemetry, including location, altitude, speed, and direction. Police, security agencies, aviation authorities, and other authorized parties can use an aerospace receiver to monitor, analyze, and act on that information. Quote, as drones have become an everyday tool for professional and personal use, authorities want to be sure they can identify who is flying near sensitive locations or in ways that raise serious concerns says Brendan Schulman, DJI's Vice President for Policy and Legal Affairs. DJI demonstrated the system in Brussels, Belgium, showing how an aeroscope receiver can immediately sense a drone as it powers on and then plot its location on a map while displaying a registration number. 
That number functions as the equivalent of a drone license plate, and authorities can use it to determine the registered owner of the drone that raises concerns. Aeroscope works with all current models of DJI drones, which analysts estimate comprise over two-thirds of the global civilian drone market. In a letter to President Trump, stakeholders from throughout the unmanned aircraft systems community, from manufacturers to business users to government officials, urged the creation of a pilot program for state and local governments to work with the FAA to integrate UAS into the skies above their communities. The letter, led by AUVSI, details the importance of federal control of the airspace and outlines a pilot program to get input from states and municipalities to develop policy on UAS operations. Quote, For months we have advocated on Capitol Hill for a pilot program that allows state and local governments, along with UAS industry stakeholders, to develop a coordinated effort with the FAA concerning UAS airspace integration, the 29 companies and organizations wrote. The letter shows wide support for the pilot program from government associations such as the Aerospace States Association, delivery services such as FedEx Express and the United Parcel Service, manufacturers such as DJI, and business users including Amazon and Verizon. Quote, industry government collaboration is critical to identifying common solutions to the industry's greatest challenges such as airspace integration, said AUVSI President and CEO Brian Wynn. The UAS industry stands to create over 100,000 jobs and $82 billion in economic impact over the next decade, and collaboration can help ensure those numbers go even higher. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.